Can you see that? That's what it's all about, folks. That's my Daytona 500 ring. Yes, it's from 1989 when DW and I were fortunate enough to be able to get to Victory Lane that day. Daytona has always been a special place. So many years I've been coming down here. I hate to tell you, it's been, I mean, I've been coming down here since 1975. I was with Kale and Junior Johnson in 1979 when they had that unbelievable finish in the fight between the Allison brothers. This place has always been special to me. And I've understood each and every driver, each and every year, while he gets so pumped up about this place. To me, it's like going to Augusta. Any golfer will tell you they'll do anything to get one of those green jackets. Or whether it's, you know, a U.S. Open tournament. They want to win that coveted plate or trophy because it means so much. And in baseball and football, well, you don't have to say much more because it's the Lombardi Trophy or it's that World Series championship ring that goes along with winning a World Series. There's special moments in any sport that stick out. For us, it's the first race of the year, the Daytona 500. If you can't get goosebumps when they say, gentlemen, start your engines come Sunday morning, well, you're in the wrong place and you need to be doing something else. Because for me, no matter how many years I've been coming down here, I can't wait till Sunday morning. The pageantry, the atmosphere is something special about it. You talk about electrifying, well, that's what a Daytona 500 is. Each and every year, I don't care if it's even raining, it gets exciting. A year ago, we had rain, but still, with all of the celebrities, everything that's going on, and all the anticipation of such an important race and what it really means to be able to drive into victory lane, I understand why. And hopefully, by looking at that rain just a moment ago, maybe you can understand why I appreciate what the Daytona 500 means to me. And when it stops giving me goosebumps, well, folks, that's the time you'll stop seeing Jeff Hammond, not only in Daytona, but also on NASCAR on Fox, because it means that much to see and be a part of the Daytona 500, the great American race, as Ken Squire so aptly named it a few years ago. Folks, don't miss it and try to understand and appreciate what we're trying to convey to you this coming Sunday.